inside that nondescript building up those stairs that are set off at a weird angle inside of that door is Disneyland for recording artists backwards love to the industry rather than seeing the front end of the you know enjoying the customer's viewpoint I like to see the back end um, and seeing the management and the organizers viewpoint just gave me a little bit more um, opportunity to use my skill sets that I've picked up and learned over the years I've always had something to do with uh, events planning nightclubs I ran door promotions from the age of 16 all the way up to 20 some I, I hosted specific nights at clubs in London big clubs Hanover Grand Iceni Café de Paris, there's a large, massive nightclubs in town in central London. It was a good learning curve for me. Um, it wasn't something I necessarily did full-time, but it was a great uh, earner for me. I'd rather be in a nightclub earning money than being in a nightclub and spending money. But I've also been super passionate about events and super passionate about music. and So I gave myself an opportunity on Guam to say it's a little smaller environment. The investment cost is not as high as it would be anywhere else in the world and uh, I'd be one of the first to market and that was the whole point of having New Wave Studios was to be one of the first to market with a, with a modern uh, studio space for people to come in and, and be themselves and record their music or record their podcasts and, and express their own entertainment value that they bring to the market. Every time the moon's up Every time I'm driving under the green lights The green lights artists uh, that you currently have working their craft here at New Wave Studio? So we have uh, Lauren Peretta. Um, she actually just released her first single. Uh, incredible singer, incredible voice, um, uh, amazing on stage. Uh, of course, she's still, she's still fairly new, so she's learning um, how to take control of the crowd, and demand attention from the crowd, and, and, and she's doing great. He's just really different, right? Um, from the people that I, that we normally see. I be vibing out there, world. House big as by somewhere. I be vibing out there, world. Trap open survey, world. I be vibing out there, world. House big as by somewhere. I be vibing out there, world. Trap open survey, world. Yeah, yeah. I be vibing out there, world. Gang. Gang, gang, we be vibing out everywhere. Trap open, serve everywhere. House 
big as by somewhere. Okay. I be vibing out everywhere. I, I be vibing out Dang. everywhere. And um, it's it's refreshing. A lot of people get down with him, and I know why, right? Because it's it's fun, it's refreshing, it's um, and, and and he's actually saying stuff. You know what I mean? It's not like he's just talking noise. Spell's been with us for so long. Cause I've been doing me ever since I found out we couldn't be overdo everything that I see. East Coast nigga, that's so D. F O wait, that's on G. I don't care, no heartbeat. I am old wolf dressed in sheep. She look good, belt to feast. I like the one that's into fine of things. It's nice with Jay design of things. Out for the calls, but she ain't want no wedding ring. What? No wedding ring. She don't want no wedding ring. This nigga right she here. down for the calls, but she don't <laughs> want no wedding ring. Yeah. I be riding. Solo, dolo, bitches on me, that's a no-go I've been focused on my own thing, own thing I've been focused on my own thing, own thing Real loyal, real loyal wolf <laughs> He's from abroad And then we have DJs We have uh, PTK, Heartless Who, who Raj and, 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 and the team have been pushing hard um, <clears throat> Getting them gigged, getting them booked out As, as a president of a production company, I guess is kind of what we would call this. I mean, you guys have a multifaceted operation here. Recording studio, primary number one. You guys also do Twitch streaming. You're into video production. What are some challenges as, as being the president of a production house? Like, how do you handle these challenges? There's like a very small pool of artists or creators who are willing to invest in themselves. What's surprising is that so many people want stuff for free and they're not willing to invest in themselves. People are not really that serious, right? Like people gotta um, look at this as their career. So I think, I think a lot of it is just dedication. Um, if you're really serious about it, invest it in yourself. Like come in and come to a place like this where we're, we're gonna take care of you here. It's just really tough to find individuals who want this as much as we do. Okay, hold on a second. Now, I know that what they're saying really sounds harsh, but let's get real about this for a moment. They're talking about performers that want to come in here and work and perform and distribute their art craft under the New Wave brand name. Take a moment and listen to what Raj and Jen have to say about this. So a hobbyist is going to do something because he enjoys doing that and he doesn't enjoy doing what he does outside of his hobby. So it's a mindset. The individual has to change uh, to the environment and not succumb to the hobbyist mentality. If they truly want to be an artist, then they should just go all out. You're in a hard industry. You're choosing to be in an industry where you need to be recognized by big dogs, corporations, by people from all ages, basically, because music is is everything, but it's also how big of an impact you want to create for yourself. How hard are they willing to work for it to really push themselves to that next level? The strategic position for the music industry on the island is that you can start here. Talent is unlimited. You know, talent is unlimited for sure. We have so much talent from locals to military, whoever wants to make music, I mean, my goal in general is to get them to the islands, but also the United States and Asia. So that's the opportunity that Guam presents is that you can start here and then you can move if you want to. But the good thing about the islands is you can start here, you can focus on your craft, but you can also go online, advertise yourself, 
uh, people don't really understand the power of the internet now when it's becoming even bigger than it was before. There's so much more opportunity that people are missing because they're in a closed mindset. Maybe because we are on a small island that it feel, we feel trapped. Uh, let's be honest for a moment. There really isn't huge money to be made locally. There's money. There are no hundred million dollar contracts on this island. And uh, selling records, uh, you know, with a population of only 150,000 people, um, again, there's not a whole lot of money to be made locally. Uh, the local hustle is real, and I can tell you it's a grind. What do you see as the future of New Wave Studio? We would like to stay at one of Guam's premier recording spaces, firstly, so that someone who has a dream of, of, of making a song and having it played on the radio, or having uh, an album and having it played, they can do that. The space is already created for you. You just got to record. The engineer's here to help you out. My business partners are here to help you out, um, in Jeremy and Raymond, to get your dreams come through. And then we've got a network that goes straight onto the radio. We've got a network of DJs that so the music can go straight out into the nightclubs. So we've created a great recording environment for artists to come in where their main focus is on themselves. So the future for New Waves would be to be one of the premier recording spaces from Guam, creative spaces as well, having a, a green screen and a Twitch room next door. And also putting on events to showcase talent, uh, not just from Guam, but from all over the world. So the accessibility of having access to a studio like this this is really unique and um let's all be glad that it's local and i really think that if you're interested in being a recording artist being it a a character actor a voice actor a voiceover artist uh if you're reading books on tape if you're a musician or a singer and you just want something laid down digitally then you need to contact jen so jen how do we get a hold of you? For new waves, uh, if you're wanting to grow your career in the music industry, in photography, videography, or even graphic design, hit me up uh, at bookings at newwavesguam.com um, or you can call me at 788-5191.